As long as the heart is being transformed through the reading of the scriptures, then knowledge will not become an idol. Because many people uh, seek to divert or dive into God's word. They seek for more knowledge and to know more about God so that they can appear like a mighty man before everyone and the go-to person who has all the knowledge and wisdom. And this is a form of idolatry. It's an idolatry of self and it's a discerned idolatry. It's one that the Holy Spirit uh, will let us know if we have wrong motives because it comes from our intentions and motives and whatever that intention motive is will be either idolatry or for God's glory. And so when we read the scriptures, we need to just desire to know God and know him more. And then the after effects and the byproducts of the fruits that will be produced will be to share that with other people as questions are asked and so forth. But we aren't seeking to learn in order to appear mightily before others. We are seeking to learn to merely know more about God and grow in him. And when that happens, when we have the right intentions and spirit going into it and reading God's word, then we will have a heart transformation. And so long as the heart is transforming, uh, because God, we know that God's word does not return to him void, and that God's word is mighty in the pulling down of strongholds, and some of those strongholds can be hidden idols that we're not even aware of. When we read God's word for simply to know God more and to want to obey him and walk according to his word, we will have a natural transformation because we're feeding the inner man and the inner woman uh, within us and they are being fed and the Holy Spirit's working through that word in a spiritually mighty way and is transforming our heart because we have the right intentions going into it. Therefore, we will reap the right rewards out of it and we will have a transformation of heart. And as our heart is transformed, it's transforming more according to what God's word has to say. It's becoming more Christ-like. It's going to be uh, it's going to make us tree bearers where we bear much fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And as that's happening, then the idolatry of diving into God's word for mere knowledge to appear mighty before a crowd is going to become non-extinct. And when the heart transforms, idols dissipate. Because when the heart transforms and it is softened and not hardened and it's not selfish, then it is becoming more like what God wants it to be. And when that happens, we are less likely to give into the world the flesh because we have been staying in good faith and in a good walk and, in, and through a continued transformational process by the power of the Holy Spirit because we are spending time in God's word and seeking the things of God for the right reasons. And that's simply to give God glory and to do God's will. So may we go into this book may we read the scriptures not seeking knowledge for mere knowledge sake not seeking to be the go-to person and and to appear mighty before everyone else but may we just simply go to seek god's will and to become more like christ and to then give god glory and to show god more to all those around us because we need to have transformation within if we are going to have a proper impact without and that can only be done by the holy spirit and by taking time in god's word so may god draw us more to him each and every day and may we grow in the knowledge and truth of almighty god of the holy one of israel and of the triune true god